So let's talk a little bit about the pressure depth and gauge pressure and absolute pressure. So in an equation, we're talking about the pressure at the bottom of, of say, a pool is equal to the sum of all the pressures above it. And that's the atmospheric pressure, which we call P naught, and then the pressure due to the water down to the bottom of the pool, so rho GH. P is the absolute pressure measured in pascals. Absolute as in compared to a vacuum. Now, there's something else called the gauge pressure, and the gauge pressure is relative to inside to outside. So for example, on a portable tank of air, this is something you might use to fill up a ball or fill up a bike tire or any kind of compressor. You fill it up with air at a high pressure, and then the air comes out of it. But when the air stops coming out of it, the gauge will actually read zero. That doesn't mean there isn't any pressure inside the tank. What that means is that the pressure outside at the end of the hose is the same as the pressure inside the tank. In other words, there's a net pressure of zero. But instead of calling it net pressure, they call it gauge pressure, because that's what the gauge, gauge reads is zero. But in terms of the absolute pressure, it's one atmosphere of pressure. So it's not an absolute pressure. OK, so let's look at kind of a different example. What is the gauge pressure on an open bottle of soda? The gauge pressure on an open bottle of soda. In other words, what's the difference in the atmospheric pressure inside the bottle to outside the bottle if the bottle is open? Well, if the bottle is open and there's nothing going on, it's just open on the table, then the pressure inside the bottle is the same as the pressure outside the bottle. In other words, it's one atmosphere of pressure. So the gauge pressure is zero. That doesn't mean there's a vacuum inside of it. It just means the comparison of the pressure outside the bottle to inside the bottle, it's zero. And that's the gauge pressure. So in our formula, P is P naught plus rho GH, the gauge pressure is the difference in P and P naught. In other words, it's also equal to rho GH. That's also the gauge pressure in a problem like this. Now, when doing any kind of problem solving, any time part of your container is open to the atmosphere, the pressure is one atmosphere. If it's got a hole and water's coming out of it, the pressure is one atmosphere at the hole. If it's just open at the top, the pressure is one atmosphere at the top. But anytime it's exposed to the atmosphere, it doesn't matter if the fluid is moving or not, the pressure at that point is the same as the atmospheric pressure. That's going to be really handy when doing some problem solving. Look to see if your container is open. If it is, you know the pressure. It's one atmosphere pressure or 100,000 pascals.